The Hip Hop Show with Remedy and C on Cambridge 105 Radio. Yeah, boy! I said the hip hop, the hip hop, hip hop, hip hop. Today it's the hip hop, you don't stop. Oh, yeah! Yes, yes, yo, it's episode 13. Unlucky for some, but not for us and not for the listeners of Cambridge 105 Radio because the hip hop show is back. We're back. Remedy is over there giving a big shout. I thought he wasn't going to make it because of the rain and the cold weather today, but here he is. I know, right? Because the other day he was like, I'm going to get an Uber when it wasn't even raining. <laughs> I did say that, actually. And now, yeah. and now he's soldiering on in here. I know. But I know why, because we've got a big special guest here today. Who is oh, it? Oh, my goodness. Jaya had a dream. Cambridge's finest female MC is in the building. Woo! I don't know about you, C. I'm very excited. I'm excited. I'm ready. I mean, this is what you go straight for the wind and rain for. I know. It's so worth it. So, yeah, stay tuned. A big special episode today. Jaya had a dream straight out of Cambridge doing massive things. So, looking forward to that. Remedy, where's the reggae horn? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we do the reggae horn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. I said, Remedy, where's the reggae horn? I know. Well, I'll use it. We'll get that involved later for sure. Because yeah. it's, it's that energy today. It's that energy. But we also get ready for the horn just yet. What else we got to do? We've got to announce the Joey Badass giveaway tickets. Oh, oh my now. gosh. Cue the horn. Oh, yeah, cue the horn. Okay, hang on. <laughs> we're getting used to it. Yeah, we're getting yeah, to a flow now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there, good, good. I'm forced to be reckoned with now. Sound like a golden child. Oh yeah, forced by Jaya had a dream, and we are very lucky to be joined by a Jaya had a dream right here in the studio. Make some noise! Thank you, thank you for having me. Honestly, yeah. it's sick. Do you know what, Jaya? I mean, we're fairly new to Cambridge 105. We're just two guys that love hip hop, to be honest. So you know, someone that um, you know has already done so much in and around the city. It's a pleasure to have you. Honestly, nah, thank you. I really appreciate it. And I, I think what you're doing is sick, to be honest. Like, it's sick to have this platform. So just keep doing it because it's sick. Oh, we will indeed. <laughs> we will indeed. <laughs> so, going obviously going up in Cambridge and stuff. What was kind of the motivation to be like, I want to be a rapper? Especially, I think during this day and age, you've got a lot of female rappers. Do you feel like there's a lot of kind of empowerment to think, oh, I'm going to, this is kind of boost you on to do it more? Yeah, oh, there's a lot to say for this question. Yeah, um, I think um, the thing what inspired me the most, I actually don't, I actually, when I was younger, I didn't listen to that many female rappers, to be honest. Um, right. I was really, but my mum really influenced me, and I've grown up in an all female household, so I feel like I've had like, sort of a feminist empowerment, but also through hip hop, the empowerment of like race struggle, working class struggle, and then that, all of that combined. And also I'm into sociology. So like just all of that combined, um, hip hop really related to my experience. And then also I just like the vibes. I like the energy, like the honesty. Um, and then, yeah, the interest in the musical side and the sound included with the like uh, interest with like the lyrics that try and change stuff and like lyrics that, that try and speak on real issues sure, those two interests yeah, yeah, yeah those two yeah. interests came together and that's what really inspires me yeah how do you how did you fit in um sort of with that interest in Cam- i mean cambridge obviously at a first glance yeah. you know it's very academic it's very rich wealthy <laughs> kind of history where does where does Jaya fit into to, to that yeah it's with your mad. background because I always feel like every every city has a ghetto like and right, I know right. that sounds that <laughs> sounds like mad but I do think every city has a ghetto and like I know Cambridge like even when I went to uni in Nottingham when I told people I was from Cambridge like I'm not gonna lie a lot of the time I say sometimes like well back then I used to say oh like yeah I'm from near London right, because when right. I used to say Cambridge <laughs> people used to always be like oh oh okay sorry your and I'm thinking yeah. like I was on free school meals like I live in Barnwell like B-Town like CB5 like is that's like one of the roughest areas I reckon and like I'm not saying like I know everything's about relativity like of course there are rougher areas but relative uh, compared to other areas in Cambridge that area is not nice and like yeah yeah. I feel like you Cambridge is like there is stuff going on here it's not just all and I think the academic side gets way it's really great that we have that and I do think it's great but there's also other things going on that should get more limelight, I feel. Like, it doesn't get that much limelight. For sure. Yeah. That's why we're here. That's why we're trying yeah, to do, do this literally. platform. Um, we really want to get to know our artists. I mean, we've had a few on here already, so we're going to delve in. Um, but again, you know, just to try and create that sort of network here in Cambridge, because yes. I think it is important. Um, but you've sort of escalated your career, really, in, in Nottingham, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, because I was making music in Cambridge a bit, but when I went to uni, I felt like I could really 
uh, like be a bit more confident and like uh, express myself because like no one knew me so I could really experiment with things so when I moved to Nottingham I really started to do shows and then a couple people just put me onto shows and that really just expanded my music and then when I've come back here like I've I've got a bit of a like archive now yeah, yeah and it's nice nice, nice. Yeah. great city Nottingham as yeah well. I love it I love yeah, it yeah I was gonna actually move on about Nottingham as well because obviously oh, yeah. like there's a good rap scene and hip hop yeah, scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm yeah, a big yeah. fan of Mez. Yes, who, yes, that, yes. Who, that, yeah, yeah, who's yeah. Your, who's your favorite Mez? Or like, is there any other? One? I, I love uh, a lot of my mates. To be honest, like I like Jar Diggers, like a, a guy who's quite iconic in Nottingham. Right. I really like just a lot of my mates. That's Omari, name, yeah, Jay Sandu, Cap. Uh, Medea, all of these people who are coming up in Nottingham, they're they're top notch. Like, there's so many I can't lie. Yeah. Nottingham. I think one thing that um, Cambridge could get inspired by of Nottingham is like how people are really overt with it. Like, we could do that as well. Exactly. And I think yeah, it's exactly. cool. Love that. Uh, let's keep it moving. Uh, yeah. We should play Dreams, surely, shouldn't we? The game. Yes, come on. That's got to have some meaning behind it. Yes. Stay locked. We're here with Jay. I had a dream. Cambridge 105, the hip hop show. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Dreams by the game. Uh, big welcome back to the hip hop show on Cambridge 105. And we are with Jay. I had a dream. Jay had a dream. How you feeling? Yeah, good. Now nah, this tune was just making me like reminisce. Now nah, it's sick. It's yeah, sick. For sure, big tune, for big sure. tune. I love listening to the, like old game. I don't really yeah. listen to him nowadays. To Neither, to be fair. I like the what's it documentary two and two point five. They were alright, but mm. after that, I'm not so much. Nah, <laughs> so. Yeah. So obviously, we were talking about Nottingham before. Yeah, yeah. You seem to be traveling everywhere. Yeah, doing to a be lot fair. of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we saw you uh, performing at St Pancras. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was just going to talk about probably you've been doing a lot of shows everywhere all over England. What was probably your favourite show this year? This year, oh, I don't want to cuss anyone out. Like I feel like <laughs> no, no, no. they've all been so good. <laughs> Other and shows I feel are like, available. Oh, I feel I don't know. There's three. I don't know because I literally I do. I've done an average of like two or three a week for like the whole wow. year. Nice. So like I I don't actually I I feel like Cardiff has been amazing. Right. Like Cardiff the two times I went but the one time at this festival that was amazing because the crowd was really feeling it's all the ones where the crowds are singing along or feeling it or doing the lights or like yeah and then in Kent when I jumped into the crowd um, shout out to Elusive Festival in Kent they're coming up they're sick Um, they um, yeah when I was in the crowd singing But Hurt Men with everyone that was sick yeah I saw that that was on Instagram wasn't it yeah 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 yeah. Yeah, that that was sick that was sick did you meet the honest poet in Cardiff yeah 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 I know I I met him that was at the festival I met him yeah he's sick yeah, he's really good we had him um, down at the Cambridge Folk Festival so that's oh, when I, nice. I, I met him so oh, yeah big shout out to Honest Poet real real nice yeah. flavour as well yeah his voice is sick Jay we just heard uh, Dreams by the Game yes um, there's a photo on your Instagram of you <laughs> oh, yeah. when you are a young child and you said you've got a Martin Luther King <laughs> yeah. poster in your bedroom yeah so at that <laughs> age how, how old were you how old were you there uh, oh what uh, I think I'm about. So it's primary school. I think I'm in ten or eleven. Like I'm, I look quite young there, but I'm. Gen- I think I'm ten or eleven. Okay, I just, so yeah. ten, ten or eleven. What was what was the dream at that age? Ah, uh, I don't even just explore. I was very adventurous. Like I used to ride BMX. I used to like. I used to just be very creative. I think just adventure was adventure. the dream. Like yeah, just, yeah. I, I never really had a strong, uh, like idea of jobs or anything or like. Even the music, I wasn't 100% sure. I used to do a little bits of music here and there, but like, right. it was more like just being adventurous and expressing myself. That was really like, I don't know if that's a dream, but yeah, that was the goal, yeah, just to be able course, to do that freely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I think we get, we get that vibe from just looking at what you've done all over social media as well. It's oh, like you definitely thanks. push yourself out there and you're pushing the boat out for yourself and then everyone else can see how good you are in general. And then I think, yeah, you got, from looking at your... Uh, Looking at the picture as well, because oh, I, yeah. I feel like you can't see it. But I mean, yeah. there's a there's a versatility of things going on. Like I saw there was like an Arsenal bag in the back. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. Trust you to spot. Oh, of course support. I would. Yeah, of course yeah, I would. Support Arsenal. Obviously. Arsenal, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we love that. Yes. <laughs> we can't skip over the fact that you supported Children of Zeus recently. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that was honestly I can't. That was crazy. Like that's like genuinely like a full circle moment. That's yeah. so cool. Yeah, because they're Manchester-based, aren't they? I yeah, believe. yeah. Yeah, I saw Children of Zeus a, a, a couple of years back as well when they were starting out. And uh, again, yeah, fantastic artists. That, that again, they're sort of getting bigger as well. So yeah. it must have been a, a pleasure for you to be on that lineup. Yeah, it was so good. Um, yeah, shout out to EPA Agency because Adam, he's 
puts me on a lot of shows and stuff and really gives me these opportunities and um i was gonna say that yeah uh tyler daly in children of zeus he was so supportive as well of my music and like yeah they're proper nice guys like they were yeah, so genuine and good. yeah that's awesome it was really great that's awesome <laughs> doing so much jay i had a dream right here yeah. on cambridge 105 um again at that age so you said that you weren't particularly the dream particularly wasn't music at that stage but we've got some artists lined up here on our, mm. on our playlist for tonight um can you talk about some of those when did you sort of really get into into music and especially hip-hop to be fair like the music wasn't a dream for me but i've always been heavily influenced and into music so like um i probably only thought about doing music when i was like uh 14 15 sure. but I was listening to my mum like I literally grew up listening to like Lauren Hill uh, Kanye The Game nice. Tribe Called Quest uh, yeah every 50 Cent Dr Dre like Eminem everyone my mum once as well I remember one day she got rid of like she was trying to get rid of loads of CDs because like obviously streaming platforms were starting to become more of a thing and she just gave me this bag of uh, hip hop CDs and I remember yeah. I just went through like all of them and things like that like um, I actually can't remember the original question, but these people, like, should I speak about specific people? Uh, no, it's, it's all good. Yeah, I'm loving it. I uh, mean, just we've got some tracks lined up here. Yeah. You mentioned 50 Cent, Kanye. We've got an yeah, Outcast yeah, yeah. track here. Yeah, um, Mad Villain, like, MF Doom and stuff I got into more when I got older. And then, right. like, Kendrick started to become an artist a bit more when I was, like, getting into secondary school. And, yeah, and I love how the UK scene's really developed. Um, and yeah, my friends more put me onto the UK artists like Getz and uh, nice. Skepta and people like well, that. Well, let's get into some of that. I mean, yeah. we've got Mad Villain right here. Uh, let's keep it moving and we'll uh, hear a bit more from Jay I Had a Dream later on. And we've still got our competition to do as well. Nice. So much going on. Keep it locked. Let's go. Ooh, Mad Villain accordion was on. And also we just had the insanely talented Getz Daily Duppy. Now... Before we went on to these tunes, you were talking about kind of the UK artists that were influencing you, yeah. Yeah. I'm assuming Getz is a big one. Obviously, he's an OG. Was yeah. it was it more like the UK uh, grime kind of the grime artists that were just the ones that really made you think, okay, I know my own, my own voice and kind of found your voice in in hip hop. Yeah, like I feel like I um, I was at first I was way more influenced by hip hop, but then later on I got a bit more interested in well not. I was always listening to grime, but I was more—I got more influenced with grime when I got more comfortable with rapping. Because when you first start rapping, I'm more on the 90 BPM, like boom right, bap, right. and you get like I get familiar with my articulation and right. like, and then after time, I can do the 140 a lot more and like yeah. experiment with that more. So I feel like yeah, um, yeah, I feel like I am influenced a lot by the grime people, but also mm. UK rap like uh, like people like Nines and um scraps and like potter paper and people like that yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. are you yeah. linked to dirty dyke at all yeah I, I know them yeah um what's the high focus records right, okay. them you yeah. know that that's what dirty dyke's under in it and i, so, I think yeah. and coops i like coops Coop. actually follows me on insta and actually i have a picture with gets as well that was the best moment ever i yeah. met gets i didn't even dare tell him i rap really i was a bit i was a bit shy i did oh, say oh i rap on, but yeah, i on. massively downplayed it. i was like yeah i just rap a bit <laughs> He's, so yeah. humble. Yeah. One thing I did notice when I got introduced to your music that there is such a nice diversity between those hype sort of grimy oh, tunes yeah. in comparison to the slow, slower hip hop, more soulful uh, type tunes, um, which is great. Is it? What's the importance of having that balance in your music? I've overall, I think my music's like. Um, I want there to, like, it's different moods and I feel like I fit. And I feel like both Boom Bap and, gr and Grime and 140 BPM music is quite similar in a way. They're both very raw. Like, um, yeah. trap music and stuff is sick, but it's a much more vibey. Um, a bit more touched up. Yeah, whereas, like, um, both Grime, Grime's very gritty and so is Boom Bap and you, like, more, yeah, yeah 90s, 90 BPM and, yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah. Anything gritty, Jay is on it. Yeah, basically, <laughs> yeah. that's basically Nothing too is. polished. Nah, yeah, literally. <laughs> well, why don't we, I mean, are you, are you ready to, to drop some bars for us? Yes, yeah, come, yeah, on, come on. About what you can spit on now, let's see, let's put it to the test. Exactly. Yes, shout All out right. to Blay. <laughs> Indeed. Actually, quick question about 
this because um, one of my boys from um, Wolverhampton spit on this tune as well and that's actually how I first heard it. and then I saw that you you uh, did it as well and then I'm seeing lots of other so was this like a competition thing or? it's like in grime I feel like a lot of artists they'll drop like an instrumental and then everyone will jump on it sure. and it hasn't I don't I don't know maybe I'm naive but I don't think it's happened this hyped for quite a long time like this is the first time for a while I've seen everyone jump on a new yeah, beat like yeah, a new grime yeah. beat and I saw um, Blade posted it and he said oh it's free for like anyone to use okay. you can use it on any platform you can yeah. do whatever you want and I was like oh I, I've got to jump on this and then through doing Cami Rid and Blaze like we're in touch now and stuff and it's, oh, it's nice. sick so yeah and shout out to Ben DSP and uh, Vulu as well who are on the track with me originally banging let's do it <laughs> shall we yeah let's go Cami <laughs> alright Cami Rid and Jaya let's do it <clears throat> yeah hey yo all of a sudden, dead man quiet, all of a sudden You ain't got UK rain like Russians I do talk, ain't part of discussions I just do sets, no threats, it's real I do debt, my net worth bills I do one night stands, you're ill I just got one fit man, he's chill And it's probably jarring to these other rappers How much the kids barring Rude MC with manners, I'm charming Cringe when these men say beat or darling Look them up and down and they start backtracking like parking I'm track stacking cause the fans are starving Acts rapping, all these men are starring Facts lacking and they don't reach targets Clout chase sent ever real artist On the other hand, I make a mark on the market rap on the slow and the fast shit storyteller rapper still rapping the fastest if you got courage then use that i'm the tits i refuse hat i'm in your bits on a nuisance my grip just won't ever loosen you kiss the toad one is human this life's a joke where it's truman try and form with my bars real talk from the heart been orcs from the start snakes talk the kids up guess by now it's just the way that i find it your new track was dry but you hyped it you're on crack if you think that i liked it predictable you don't need to be psychic i make the earth shake guess the kid's seismic peaceful person but i know that i switch that's not a nice situation i was better back then loitering blaze now back and forth in these cities and stations Mass communication, backstage waiting Copycat bars for these man mutations Jay's really one for the ages, blatant Especially got worldwide ratings Yeah Oi, oi, let's go <laughs> <laughs> yes, so Jay, yeah. Do it again, do it again, again. Where's, your, where's your verse? You got a verse? Um, no, you don't want to hear that You don't want to hear that <laughs> I've got uh, Arctic Monkeys ready. Oh dear. To be fair, I've, I could spit on that for days. Like, that is a. That is on the beats, isn't it? Yeah. Such a hard tune. <laughs> Banging J. Yes, love that, love oh, that. Hey, thank you, thank you. Uh, maybe we'll get another little, um, uh, a few more bars from you a bit later on Ooh, as well. Nice. However, I think it's about time we do our competition, don't we? <laughs> Oh. Why not? We've got a very special guest and we've got a very special moment. So who else to push the button and mm-hmm. make sure we oh, announce know, right? the big know, winner yeah. for the Joey Badass tickets? I forgot to shout out, by the way, Matthew's in in uh, in the studio, uh, becoming our full time videographer. Big shout, yes. uh, doing on. massive things for for the hip hop show. So big respect. Uh, yes. He's going to capture this on camera. So just to backtrack it, um, we put out a competition two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. for the Joey Badass live at Coco in London on the 14th of September. All you had to do was like, follow and and share. I mean, Joey Badass literally called us, didn't he? He just said that here's two tickets. Cambridge needs this. Cambridge exactly. 105 yeah, yeah, needs yeah. this. That, that is exactly what happened. <laughs> that is exactly what happened. <laughs> that wasn't a dream. So, yeah, it wasn't a dream. So I'll give you my, I'll give you, um, do you my laptop, Jay. Yeah? <laughs> yes, come on. Honestly, this is actually a privilege. Like, I think all you have to do is, is click. All you, literally, all you have to do Love is click. Joey as well. Um, actually, hang on. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Sure. So I just. Uh, can we get the lights down in here, please? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. Is it? We're spinning. We're spinning the wheel, so, so and it's landed click? on. Goodness me, technology right, issues. Do I, I'm just do I just click? Out. I'm going to say, yeah. Bear with us. Uh, if you've just joined us, is the hip hop show. It's moving, it's moving, it's moving, it's moving. Here we go, here we go. We're we're spinning, we're spinning, we're spinning. Who's the winner of those two tickets? Who is it? It is. B. Rose Bud. Oh. Horn, please. B. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's the horn? Where's this? Yes. Wow. E. Rose I mean, I, I imagine that's that's their Insta name, but yes. uh, we'll, we'll work that out. So yes. if you've got the Insta <laughs> handle B. Rosebud, you've just won that camera over. two tickets to Joey Badass <laughs> in London. In Never. London. Boom. If you're listening, which. Oh, yeah. Joey Badass with Survival Tactics taking off his first, or well, I think one of his first mixtapes. Yeah. 99 back in the day uh once again big congrats to b dot rosebud uh, off instagram she's just won two tickets to joey badass in london a lot oh. of people are jealous of you right now i know right jay is looking pretty jealous yeah i know did you, did you enter jay did you enter 
Shoulda. 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 You clarified, so you're going to help Jay. You're not going to go against her. Well, I feel like there's a lot of pressure on Jay right now. Okay. You know, I can yeah. see her. She's like about. Tired. She's tired. So. She's had a long day, and she doesn't want to be up against the king of who sampled. So I will be teaming up with Jay. Yeah, to, come on. To Very win. kind of you. All right. Yeah. So it's me. It's me versus both of you. You're a team. You're yeah, a team. yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. We're against the dealer basically right now. All right. If you don't know, you should know by guys. now. Um, that we will. Don't guess. say that because you're on my team. <laughs> Can't be losing. They have to guess the hip hop songs that sampled these originals. Let's get straight into it with uh, who sampled number one. Oh, big intro here. Don't let it throw you off. Don't let it throw you off. It's coming, it's coming. It's tense. Oh, there it is. There it is. What's it? Uh Right at the beginning there. Oh, wait. What's it? Don't follow. Come back. I've been here for years. You know it. I'm going to give it to you. Wait, wait. What is it? Uh, easy heat. No, no, no. no, no, no why no. am I? Uh, how can I not? Go on, see. Help her out. Help what? her out. Oh, Ella. Oh, wait. Mama said, no. Nah, you. Yeah. When I saw you, I was like, bruh, nah. I'm not trying to tell you. I mean, I'm not trying to. Nah, nah. Yeah, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright. Let me try. Just, there it is. Let me look. If I just look straight, I'll be better at it. <laughs> see, you know what I mean? I can get it, but I don't remember the eyes like, under pressure. Yeah, C's had some of those moments. He knows it, but it's like. We turn on by. I've got 100%. <laughs> oh, all right, here's your right, let's do, Yeah, let's do it. Should we, should we okay. crack on? Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right, number two. Now. Come on. Um, Warren G. Nader War, uh, Regulate. She's done it. Yeah. <laughs> Here it is, absolute classic. Regulation. Oh, we're actually, doing that. <laughs> oh, I actually don't even do that because no, I'm no one never really ever knows the song. Every time the with film. the films, yeah, no, it sounds familiar. To be fair, go on, hit us with it. I can't even remember. Oh right, oh, okay. no, film. Uh, here's who sampled then number three. Uh, what's it? California Love, Dr. Dre. There you go, yeah, yeah. Okay, these weren't as bad as I thought. And uh, Tupac, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, it's okay. <laughs> exactly. Spin well, the original. Spin the original. Do you know what? All right. And here yeah. it is. They are the... <laughs> Not bad, eh? Not yeah, bad. You, I've, I've eased you, you in. Nice. Thank eased you. you in. You guys are really... Thank you. <laughs> All right, fourth and final one. I uh, wish you luck, Jaya. Uh, this is who sampled number four. <sighs> I feel like C might know this one. I recognise it though. Admittedly, most of these are 90s. I do apologise. Oh, oh of course so I know bad. this one. Of course I know no, this one. You've got, you can, I recognise it so bad. You have to help around. Wait, wait, wait. Do you want to phone a friend? Oh, what's it? <laughs> I recognise that this is going to... Nice gonna sample, gonna know right? me. It's not Wu-Tang, is it? No. It's no, not Wu-Tang. It's, it's, not it's, Wu-Tang. Yeah, I, I recognise it massively. Not, no. So he's going to help you out. Yeah, there. man. How can I not? Phone a friend. Got Who got the props? Sorry. Oh, yes. Sorry. Well done. I, okay. Sorry. I, <laughs> I do not. I that. There it you is. got me. <laughs> See, I told you, not that bad. We just caught you out on that last that one. That last one yeah. you did say. Yeah, Black yeah, Moon, yeah. Who got the props? I don't. I don't. I mean, we're talking 93. So, you know, a while ago. A while ago. <laughs> but there we go. Before no, thank you. That's cool. Oh, you got a question, C? I mean, we've only, you know, this happens every time. We've only got 10 minutes left. I love oh, question. I'm having so much fun. Yes, yeah, I do. Time flies when you're having fun. Because we were talking about Kendrick. We're both going to see Kendrick live. Yes. But let's move away from hip-hop. 
What is the what have you been listening to that's not hip hop? I love that. I love that you asked that. Um, uh, oh, I listen to so much that's not hip hop. I can't lie to you. Like sometimes I go months without listening to hip hop. Mm. I listen. Like I, I love Tame Impala. I yes. like. Uh, I like uh, a lot of people. Uh, I like Kate Bush a lot. I, wow. But not. But yeah. before the tick, I don't even like the TikTok yeah. song. What Wuthering Heights is her best track. And then I like. Uh, I like Bowie. I like uh, and My Chemical Romance. Even I like a yeah. range. Like I like a, a range. Did you so. see My Chemical Rom- Romance? My sister did. My yeah. sister went to that. I didn't go to that. But yeah, apparently it was sick. But. For, just for the purpose of what I was kind of with that question, I wanted to kind of delve into what's your most recent searches on like your music. Okay. So it's just because oh, obviously you can have, you go on for days. I imagine you would. But like, yeah. what's the most like the free last searches? Okay, yeah. Let's hopefully we get some weird ones or like something. Oh, it's a big reveal. Oh, so Cambridge no, 105 all, exclusive. It's all hip hop because. <laughs> search right there. What would Let you get? Let me look at my history. Yeah, yeah. Because. Oh, these are all really uh, actually obvious. Actually, it's, there's, there's, this is all Tyler, the creator. I've got some little card. This is all really bait for me, to be honest. Um, to be honest, if I what would be good for me to do is just quickly shuffle my thing, I think. What, what, okay, te- aha. I have a lot of aha on my phone. Wow. I have aha. Yeah. I like... Um, Oh, uh, Oingo Boingo. I don't know if anyone who knows who they are, but Danny Elfman, he writes a lot of soundtracks for like uh, a lot of the Tim Burton films. Right, and yeah, Danny yeah, Elfman's sure. in a group called Oingo Boingo and they're like some completely different. Wow, yeah. I like the Smiths as well. Nice. Ah. Yeah. That leads on to a question. I mean, how's it been? You've been recently working with a live band. Yeah, um, yeah. How's that? I mean, how, how long have you been doing that? Oh, to be fair, I did a, my first live band performance in 2019, but only recently have me and the live band been doing like our real own thing, like going right. to shows and 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 actually I should be having a show coming up that's just like Jay had a dream and the band like a Love official that. thing in Love knots that. and hopefully we'll have some more instruments as well but yeah shout out to Dave Fry Soul and Cyrus because that's my band and they're amazing yeah how's that yeah. rehearsal process for you like how long does oh. it take to sort of perfect something that you can translate onto a stage literally these guys are so good at it like genuinely they're so good at it I send them the tracks they practice they they just work it out they literally just work it out i don't know how and then we meet in Genius. pirate studio and then they just we just uh, they say oh would you prefer it like this or this and they're literally playing like beats my mates have made for me wow mm. yeah. in guitar and i'm just like wow i don't know how they do it to, to be, be able honest. to translate that through yeah. their instruments yeah it's, amazing it's insane, amazing yeah. And people always appreciate that way more when they hear it live like yeah. a, a, ba- a live band and someone like a dj coming along and just spinning a track they, it brings you, so you much just, more yeah. it's much more talent to it not saying like I'm not putting a DJ down at all, but you no, know, yeah. when it's a live thing, the DJ just plays a track. Sure. Yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah. But when you've got a live band, yeah. you get the opportunity to, like, for instance, I saw this really talented R&B singer this year, Sipo, I think it's called, Sipo. Oh, okay. And he had a drummer there that he just allowed him to just have solos and just smash yeah. it out. And everyone was loving that. That's you know? what and we it, did. It, that's way, yeah, you can do that. And we made well. Cami Rhythm a rock track, which that was that's crazy. Cool. Like wow. Cami Rhythm was like a wow. rock song. It was, yeah. <laughs> and then there was a guitar solo. It's mad. Yeah. That's, I can cool. imagine that. Yeah, really it was hard. really cool. One more thing, Jar. I mean, I've seen, again, going by your Instagram, um, you've made the cover and the playlist of Fresh Finds yes, on yes, Spotify. Yes. Yeah, that was mad. That is awesome. That was actually through the live band show. So, wow. yeah, no, I really Wicked. appreciate that. That was, yeah, that was a mad uh, surprise. Um, yeah, shout out to the person who did that. I don't want to, because I don't know if they want their name, I suppose, but shout out to you. You know who you are. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> Jay are doing big things. It's only really? going to get Thank better, you. I'm sure. Um, we got this tune, Hieroglyphics. You ready to spit a few more bars? Should we do it? On a uh, 90, yeah, on a yeah, tune? yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, let's change it up. Let's go. This is a bit different. Yo. Take me draw if I was poor and now I'm climbing up the ladder You want all of this galore Can't stand a man who goes around and calls his women whores Brother, why you wear a valley? We all know you're insecure Some people talk as others act cause they know it means more Nine to five is living bubbles, what they need freedom for If I make bread I can't say that I'm a split If I had a pound for every friend I'd lost then fam I'd have digits Checking in your family for someone goes missing Forever in regret that I never made visits Pre-rolling in the back of whips, free in a row, tripless Whilst I could have been at home, spending time with my siblings If you're catting off your stuff 
circle for some wins, that's just clippings. Neighbors called me Pickaninny, daddy called me Pickney. Not that he was there, cause Tree say presence was a mystery. Since then, shit ain't changed, yeah, my struggle ain't my history. If I was dead, you wouldn't miss me. So let's get you off your pedestal. Smoking buds addictive, whether or not that shit is medical. Trying to trust the come up, but in theory, I'm skeptical. Practically an artist, I've performed at some festivals. I ain't invest a penny in my craft, that shit will change this summer. I'ma really pave my path. They say your pain is art, but real talk, that shit is hard. Trauma creeps up on you, and you don't know where to start. And so we offload on our favourite people Yeah, we came from the same ends But opportunities weren't equal Thank God I had a library amongst all the illegal The shit they did through bribery The torture looks medieval Energy changes when I enter, it's unpeaceful Cause I always say a peace as an ode to my people I've been down bad knees and arms like I'm fetal Cause more time spent in, uh, in a needle Yo, sorry, <laughs> that one's deep still Yes, Jay, uh, let's give it the horn Let's give it the horn <laughs> Yeah, love that, love that Oh. Oh, well. oh nah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. That one's just bars unreleased, like yeah. Sh- just is this an exclusive, right? Yeah, literally, oh, literally. I can't lie, that was an exclusive. <laughs> can't lie. Yeah. <laughs> exclusive. That's out there. That's out there. Exclusive. Jay, I had a dream right here on the Hip Hop Show. This is how we do. I'm gonna ask you one last question because we really run out of time. Yes. What do you think about a Cambridge Hip Hop Festival? needed that's all i think like needed dot there are actually so many artists there are so many different people that could come together through that that's what I'm and saying. so much that could start and be you guys could do it you could be could be cambridge 105 right like it could be hip-hop oh, we'll show host festival we'll host nah 100 percent. i'm down let me know let me know when she's in yeah she's in. with the band too we've got, got artist number one nah, on the lineup. Oi, come Top on of the look, lineup. honestly you've heard it first you've got one that means you've got to follow yeah that's it let's do it uh, I see the tune you got lined up, but can we go skip to Castles? Well, I was going to play one of Jay's tunes, mate, because we've oh, already oh, got... Oh, right, yeah. We're just, we're just I've, seen, I've just seen it lined up here. And we'll I save that for another going, show. I thought you were going with Outcast, but... We'll save that for another show, <laughs> see? Know, uh, cool. Jay, we've got one last... Of course, drop got Jay's tune. room for one more tune. What do you want to introduce? Oh, I might do Rubber Bands, because that's produced by Carnes Hill. Um, Khan, big shout out to Khan Hill. He's a big pioneer in the drill scene, and like he does a lot for UK rappers, and a lot of people don't realise. And yeah, boom, love that. Jay, it's been an absolute pleasure. I'm for- yeah. Unfortunately, we've got to sign yeah. out. Bless up. Thank you for having me. Big shout out to you guys. Honestly, it's sick. And everyone in Cambridge, make sure you're supporting, and elsewhere as well. Like this is where it's at. So come through. You heard it here. <laughs> Sweet. Thanks, Jay. Peace. Peace.